What's up everybody, welcome back to Cigars Whiskey for our next review. Today's review will be featuring a new cigar uh, released by General uh, under the brand Punch. It is the Punch Diablo and this was in collaboration with AJ Fernandez and this is supposedly uh, Punch's uh, uh, Punch is trying to go for their most full body strength cigar that they've ever made. So with that said, if you're not a full body cigar guy, then this might be one you want to stay away from uh, until you get brave enough. But it is the Diablo, which I've had a few of these and they are delicious. Uh, it is a wrapper, is Ecuadorian uh, Sumatran Seed. The, the General is calling it a Scuro wrapper because it's darkness. It also features a uh, binder that's a broadleaf dark leaf from the Connecticut River Valley outside of Hartford and it is mixed with a Nicaraguan and Honduran leaves uh, that are grown from Cuban seed so definitely an interesting stick something different to try if you're a punch fan you might like this like I said it is considered one of their full body strength scars this is a six and one eighth by 50 stick it is roughly eight to ten dollars depending on where you get them they are available right now in most places online and in shops it was uh, introduced in june uh, it was showed at the trade show but man it looks good so we can see that it is very minimal veins very tight seams getting a little bit of earthiness off of the off of the cigar let me go ahead and cut it. We're going to use a straight cutter today. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Nice and cut there. It is a firmer uh, stick. It's not real spongy to the touch. It's got a little bit of sponge, but not a lot. It's not really tight packed where it's real bad in the draw. It is a really good draw. I mean, it's not real hard to draw through but it's not real uh, where you take a draw and it's real when they're really spongy they come through really quickly and you notice the spun or notice the pack to the cigar but with that said let's go ahead and light it up and we'll be back with the first third all right everybody into the first third of our cigar just starting it off you can see the draw is really good getting a little bit of a sweetness not a lot just a little bit on the initial first light Getting a little more of a cinnamon profile on the cigar. And I would say so far it's pretty good. A little bit of a pepper kick. Not a lot, but it's subtle and you can taste it. Uh, but with it being called the Diablo, uh, I'm assuming, as I've already had it, like I said, I'm going to let you know, it does get a little bit spicy at times. But we'll go ahead and go through it. I'll be back with the second third right after this. All right, everybody, welcome back for the second third of our punch. Diablo uh, by AJ and the second third we're getting a little more of an earthiness uh, a little more of a leather coming through the pepper is about the same uh, it might pick up a little bit as you can see though it's burning pretty good uh, not razor sharp but that's okay it'll correct itself as we go through it uh, but all in all like I said man this cigar is definitely interesting it is a better punch that I like and I like a lot of the punches, but man, this one is pretty good. I, I know that AJ is working with a lot of different manufacturers to make cigars. And as I said in some other videos, he seems to be one of the hottest blenders right now for tobacco. Uh, but he is working on different stuff. You'll see stuff come out quite often with him in collaboration with him. But if you haven't tried any of those, and then again, he has his own line of cigars that you can try that are really good. He's got the New World. I have a review for that one. You can check that out. I've got some other ones on there. But man, let's, that said, let's keep going, and I'll be back with the final third and the final thoughts right after this. All right, everybody, welcome back for the final third of our review of the Punch by uh, AJ called the Diablo. It is a little bit of a spicy kick, uh, and man, like I said, it's a cigar you can find all over the place. It's on websites, it's in stores, uh, it's finally got released to where everybody's getting it, but definitely check it out. But in the final third, we're getting uh, a little more of a red pepper. Uh, the strength's probably almost, uh, I'd say a medium full. It's not really a full strength as they indicated in some of their uh, releases. But I would say a medium to full strength cigar. So take a look at that. And like I said, really good cigar. 
uh, burning really well. I had to touch it up maybe one time, but it corrected itself. So with that said, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave your comments. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you next time. But thanks again for tuning in Cigars Whiskey. Have a great day, have a great smoke, and I will catch you next time.